Finally, guys, we are here. The last ever chapter. It's gonna be likely a two episode, <laughs> I feel like. But well, yeah, I am too drunk. What's the next one on the docked? Oh, you're really feeling like going completely off the rails? And uh, my controller is off battery, so I'm gonna use my mouse. Um, or something. Can I, do I have the spacebar? No? Nope. Yeah, I have a spacebar. Okay. I'm gonna use my spacebar! So you're gonna click more spacebar sound. So it's good thing the first person to ping you on your power mask is a linear, the nutty bitch. It's actually the sort of destabilizing influence your life needs right now. Well, okay. Hello, my friend, because that's what we are now. Friends. Cool, that's not weird at all why to talk to someone. You're really loving this one. You are not sure what it is, but you're possibly whatever crackpot capper this loopy troll is about to rope you into is going to be a real humdigger. There's a sense of fina finality in there. You can taste it. Oh, you can taste it. You can taste it, guys. You can taste it. Linera does uh, you the courtesy of listening to you say all the shit without getting super pat off or how much of a freak you are. Listen up. Uh, so I was thinking, since us becoming friends, has worked out so well. I started to think maybe it'd be a good idea to keep making more friends another shot after all. Uh, what do you mean by that? I guess? That's what I was thinking. Uh, so there is a, this party I was invited to. So you see, the fellow Jade in my cloister always sneak out to go through these things. She gently suggests to Linnea that she should hurry the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so I'm nervous to go and I want a friend to come with me. Okay, is that so crazy? No, you don't think that's crazy at all. You think that sounds fantastic, actually. You don't ask for any details because you will give us a shit. <laughs> Let's go! Show up on the block. You are not gonna talk about how you got there or whatever because what a waste of time. You're just there. You never met up with you. You never mentioned there might be dancing, so you decide to really dress up for the occasion. Oh man. It's you and fucking nuts. You're wearing a cape and shit! <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm wearing a fucking cape and shit. Also like fishnets, maybe a sexy bro, if that's your thing, okay? Whatever you have to be drudged out of some dumpster or another. Great. <laughs> also you can only ima uh, you can imagine whatever you want uh, uh, you want here, but no it's completely bullshit. You look like a total slut! <laughs> you look like a total slut! Pinera isn't wearing anything special because uh, we will <laughs> have to pay someone to redraw all this <laughs> Yeah, from the looks of it, you're heading over to somebody's hive party. You're only up to some kinds of joint that, from the past experience, you can uh, now solmise is an alien domicile. It's pretty big and maybe belongs to someone on the blue end of the spectrum. Back here, again in this block, just where all the jade blooded schoolgirls love to get down and dirty. It hates you like a bucket of ice when you realise whose hive you are walking straight towards this time. It's ah uh, that. Uh, Ah, uh, the hive. Of course, the cycle! The fucking cycle! Oh, that's just great. Your friend Adata. Boy, do oh boy, do you love Adata. Cannot wait to see her again. <laughs> As you approach, you can immediately tell what kind of deal they have going on here. You can hear the tunes pumping from all the way down the block. And when you get near enough to see, there are obviously a bunch of things passed out drunk. On the lawn, this is a full blown. Uh, Frat house? Rager? Yes, a uh, Rager, guys. Definitely doesn't seem like Linera sort of scenery. That's uh, because it isn't! Uh, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Why you do it? <laughs> okay, but you wanted to do this because you called me out to do this, right? 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 You cannot uh, can either. You're not even in the front door. You can already feel the sweat powering out of your armpits. This is going to be so much fun! You pass all the smash long <laughs> Wait, did you just kick them out of the way? <laughs> you pass off the smash alone, these and go up to the knock on the front door. You have to rub on it a few times until the telltale sounds of clicking heels faintly reaching your ears. The door opens and you discover <laughs> the creation hostess standing on the other side is none other than your best friend, Adata! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! He looks, she looks surprised to see you for only a moment before her face is all in that wicked green. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. Look what's a poor beast dragon. Therefore, more soon, my sweet. You are not actually sure how much time has passed since you last ran into Adata, but it doesn't feel like it can be described in any metric by soon. 
to be physically savage so many times since the day you are not sure what you are blo uh, you are blocking out though you tell Ada that you are really 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 glad to see her because you totally are you tell her you weren't expecting her to be hosting a party though oh I don't know if I call it a party more of a friendly kickback of sorts sort of, sort of exclusive really of all the world's finest influencers I <laughs> I am one of them fuck off. <laughs> In this world, not not like well, yeah, fuck off, okay? In this universe, I am a sort of influencer, okay? Okay, shut up. <laughs> exactly, did you hear about my little shitting? <laughs> well, I certainly consider you to be one of my finest friends. I don't recall inviting you, motherfucker. Your gesture vague a little in error. She doesn't seem to know how to lie. And immediately cracks under the pressure. Um, one of the other jaders from my closet told me to come. His name is Lanky, but I don't think he was invited either. Oh! I get the impression we kind of always come out here. Basically, we're crashing, if that's okay. Well, of course. Oh, what an informal story without a few inter entirely uninvited intervals! <laughs> Linera doesn't seem to know if she's being sarcastic or not. Uh, you aren't sure if she is either, to be honest. So, like, you're fucking with us, so she's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I keep pressing the, uh, the wrong thing. Of course not. Of course not. I keep pressing old. Of course not. Of course not. Let, let's me move. I just have to buy one question for you, my dears. Ah, uh, what do you need to know? Other because you're near. You may heard slavishly. Then she leans close of your ear in tones. Do you hereby certify under penalty of law that you are of age? To view adult content within your taste of legal residence, have acknowledged the content of this volume, accompanying natural content description, and are comfortable with the prospect of engaging with challengingly or otherwise controversial fictional material. <laughs> you know it's good when the actual character have to actually give you an introduction and or a disclaimer warning you think, you know? Fucking god damn it. Do we guys? There's a conflict, okay? There's a fucking conflict guy. This is gonna be fucked up, maybe, perhaps. Or perhaps you just are uh, preparing for real for the worst. Okay. <clears throat> I I'm not ready guys. Uh, to be all honesty, I'm not ready. It's very controversial, politely, to whatever things is gonna happen. And uh, fuck me. Fuck us, fuck everything else, and what the fuck. <clears throat> Thank you. Headphones telling me how much battery is left. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's do this. Yeah, you better chief! Oh, you. <laughs> oh, 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 you're too scared. You better chief, they'll have let you in! Oh god. There it is. The multiple choice. You better chief? No? Enter? <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Why don't you come right in there, my dear? I don't want to see you making any little post online about how my party was too fucking problematic for you, though. Ada sticks back and welcomes on you again to her and BOOM! Do with a grandiose gesture. You are very, very excited for Adata's party. You know definitely that you will enjoy absolutely every second what she has in store for you. Once you step in the past of threshold, Adata blows you toxic kiss and starts you all to mingle with her enthusiastic guests. Oh, I'm very worried now. The first thing that hits you once you are into the music is a solid wall of beams that reverberate through your body down your bones. The insane dance track is blasting so loud you can hardly hear yourself think. It has to be this loud to drown out all the shouting coming from the living room. As you apprehensively advance, that it becomes quickly clear that Linear is completely out of her element here. She's a bundle of nervous beside you, practically glued to your hip. When you actually step into the living room, she physically attaches herself to your arm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, more than I was expecting. Just so many people in a single place. You too, it's a scene of absolute chaos. The living room of the house is filled to the brim with rowdy things dancing rhythmlessly uh, to the pounding music. The furniture has all been knocked over or otherwise destroyed. You can make a great uh, sorry, a pretty good guess of what's filling all the red cups you see in everyone's hands. Flagger. Flagger? Well, whatever. You're about to tell. Is that a Star Trek uh, beverage? 
<laughs> now that I think about it, uh, you're about to tell Hina you wouldn't blame her if she wants to dip. But you can get the words out before you are being flagged down by a jaded blood boy who just muscled his way out of the throne. Party goers with a few of his friends in tow. <clears throat> yeah, you made it! Oh, this is the guy that invited us? Hinera old bug flings herself away from your body and frees like a scared animal as the troll approaches. For the commotion, the rockets is still remarkably well put together. The vigorous stance handle doesn't seem to have disturbed his sharp makeup or his impeccably coiffed hair. There is a curious red stain down the front of his white shirt, though. He has a slutty. Okay, <laughs> what a way to describe someone. He has a slutty looking indigo blooded girl on his right arm and even a slutter looking teal blood boy <laughs> on his left. So he shakes them off and waves them away by the time he reaches you and Linera at the entryway to the room. Um, uh, hi, Lanky. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, wow. You watch his amusement as Linera practically bursts into flame under his gaze, and it only gets worse when he sits up to give her a startlingly intimate embrace. She's quick and tries to hug him back, but is too timid to actually touch him with her hands because he's sweat pouring down her face. After a solid five seconds, that seemed to include the lanky smell in Linera's hair! <laughs> I was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. He pulls back to smile down at Linera with heavy gaze. Linera's face is bright green and her eyes are bugging out and her skull from how flustered she is. So, disclaimer, another disclaimer I want to say. I'm gonna get bow ending. So, I don't give a fuck what you guys talk, think about me, so fuck off. You are really, oh, you are so fucking delicate. Fuck off, guys. Fuck off. <laughs> it's like the thing with Undertale, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, it's a little bit annoying, but still. But she's not. Not into it. You don't think it's hard to tell, but you kind of get the impression that uh, he'd be dead by now if uh, she weren't. Okay. Either way, it's awkward. Lucky for Linera, Lanky either doesn't notice or doesn't care. He settles into a comfortable for him posture with his arm casually around Linera. Waist uh, enters to you. Hello. Um, what is this? Uh, this is my f f f f f f friend. Yeah. Lanky quirks an eyebrow. You have friends. <laughs> right to the point. You have friends. <laughs> Uh, the question seems to leave Linera speechless, so Lanky takes the opportunity to look back at you, his eyes rake up and down your body in a way that leaves you feeling distinctly objectified. Ah, aren't you interesting? Is there a reason you look like uh, that? Well, the question, he doesn't explain what that is specifically referring to, and given both of you alien status, uh, your states or dress, it could mean any number of things. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm dressed like a slut, <laughs> and uh, I'm also an alien. <laughs> Lovely. Fucking great. You might take it, it as an insult, if not for the way he licks his lips after he says that. Now I am very worried. He can seem to pry his eyes off you. You look at Linnea for Q, but she's too out of his uh, out of it to give you any sort of intelligible sign. The fact that your parents could be uh, do either to this or the that you are generally a disaster van being respected of your planetary origin. How fascinating. I never met an alien before. Well, you have lots of time, in fact. Literally everyone and everything here is an alien to you. You find your world <laughs> diarrhea becoming more and more awkward and embarrassing as Lucky's eyes start burning a hole in the center of your chest. Haha, <laughs> there's no need to be shy. I don't bite until the asked. Oh. Okay, Linera, help me out! <laughs> I cannot deal with this kind of objectification. <laughs> Man disconnects himself from Linera as the rounds on you. It's like he's lost any interest in her existence now. They're in front of him. Linera looks at you with a completely pathetic expression that gradually informs you as to what your response needs to be. Really? Help me! <laughs> You'll be damned if you aren't going to be the best wingman possible! So you definitely knew Lanky Blunt had passed and turned the conversation back to Linera. He asked Lanky how long he and Linera uh, have known each other and Lanky raises his eyebrows at the question. Oh well, I suppose since she was chosen for the coy stuff. Uh, some number of sweep again? I don't remember really. Good to know. It was 2.43 sweeps. Alright then, that many I guess. Uh, that's pretty long time actually. <laughs> yeah. Pretty impressive that you managed to go a solid 2.4. Of them without saying a single word to me that wasn't secreted to me a second hand from your snide gossiping behind my back. Oh wow, talk about whiplash. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> the nether eyes get big like sources. Uh, what? What? What are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, taking? The, to uh, the tone of the conversation has totally moved from fire to eyes in an instant. Though neither lanky expression nor demeanor have changed much, his lip and the knives with all the calm composure of a casual statement. What are you going to pretend you didn't spend the better part of the past two and a half weeks complaining about how much I disgusted you? Come on now. You don't know that everyone is aware that you are a nasty little bitch, right, Inera? What? I... Um, I I mean, I don't take it the wrong way. I really don't mind. I'm hardly in a position to criticize. I'm just curious what caused the sudden change of heart after so long decrying my vain and slatternian lifestyle. I don't... I... Have the impending ordeals finally made the little clock start to tick down into the dry, dusty knock of yours? Did you figure I was the only one who might be the... <laughs> be loose enough to be willing to clean out the cobwebs before you get shipped off to the space church and never have the chance again. Um, just wondering. There's a long, excruciating moment where Linera says nothing, she just stares up lanky beside her with a completely shell shocked expression. Before you can try to pipe up in Linera's defense, she bursts into tears. Oh no. And she runs off. When Linera suddenly turns and makes a mad dash to run out the door and away from the party, you turn between running after her and giving this jerk a real piece of your mind! Your mind's made up when you look back at the lanky just in time to catch him rolling his eyes. Hey, you say, that was kind of rude, don't you think? Like his nose, me, rude. <laughs> Are you perhaps attempting to fuck with me? Clearly, you haven't spent much time around this bitter pill if you think that wasn't anything short of precisely what she deserves. You can see you maybe don't have a full enough grasp of Jade Blood Cluster's social dynamics to make a definitive judgment on whether or not Linera deserves or have been so ruinously owned. Uh, she's your friend, and what good are you if you don't stick out for the people you care about? Let's forget about the time she tried to stab you, stab us like three times. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea what even got her so upset. Like I said, it's not like I really care what she said about me, but you don't get to spend as much time as she does being such a venomous little snake and act surprised when someone calls you out on it. Then why did you invite her, you ask? It seemed neither as cruel of Lanky to lead her on to under false pretense. He, he never intended to be her friend at all. I promise you had no such design. Okay? The only reason I even invited her to this thing is that my ex is being a real blood sucking bitch and no one else wanted to go. Okay, so you, it was like a substitute of a substitute? Uh, I cannot realize now there is demon demon back in the background, you can see it there, with holding his sausage there. I don't know who uh, the other guy is. Are you cheating me, demon? Demon? God damn it. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. <laughs> anyway. I was willing to give her an honest shot, but I've no time for a vicious uh, slandering nag who had can even admit what she is, okay? I thought it might be interesting to see what the crusty little screw might be like if you could manage to wrest her bulge free of whatever excruciating knot she's got tied into, but I guess now we'll never know. Well, this is clearly a conversation you're going to have uh, to Switzerland now pretty soon. <laughs> okay, get the hell out of here. But. Uh, yeah, whatever. You thanks for the story significant on Switzerland like political neutrality on your home planet. Thank you, eyes glance over like he's listening to your recite. A sport almanac of cricket stats. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, since they seem to have scared away my date, why don't you stay a while so you can I get to know each other a little better? You seem much more interested than uh, she is, anyway. Oh, damn. When did Lanky get up so close to you? Your heart beats a little faster when he smiles at you like that. So poison and shameless lace with intent Linera is definitely not the only one coming off like a snake here. I have less time to waste than most, my dear. Never seen the value of in beating around the bush. Well, maybe it's socially prudent for you to go after Linera and make sure she's okay, but it's also not her volume of frenzies. <laughs> you are really pulling that out, punk! <laughs> so instead of doing that, you are going to stick around and see what this particularly brewery prima donna is all about. Had your fucking chances to bail out of this shitter show, and all that's left to do is a barrel downhill as meteor meteor meteorically as you can manage. Fantastic. Care to dance? Why the fuck not? Then please laugh pleasantly and reaches out to take you by the hand. The contact gives you a little thrill despite yourself. He's got nice hands, soft and warm, and well taken care of. And you know, it's going to be one hell of a ride wherever he's taking you. Come with me. Okay. 
I'm coming with you. You do, he <coughs> you straight to the dance floor. Oh, he takes your round and throng of dancing party goes over to the kitchen of the house first. We're expecting to find a familiar face waiting for you there. Who's there? Oh, Elward! Hey! Fancy meeting you here? You don't find it that surprising, honestly. You two know each other? You could say that. That's just great. Uh, do you give discounts to friends? <laughs> well, <laughs> what? Uh, I sure fucking don't. You know the price, pretty boy. Pay up. Ah. Uh, you're a little confused what's being purchased here exactly! <laughs> it word gives you a funny look. You are drone? What? Hush. You do as you're told and watch as Lanky and Elwood carry out their shady transaction. Lanky hands over the credits and receives an opaque little baggie or something return. Are they exchanging drugs? Uh, okay. 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 Well, you guess you don't really need to see what's in the thing to figure out what it is at this point. <clears throat> as soon as the deal is done, Lanky has uh, his hand uh, the small of your back and is definitely guiding your way from the scene of the crime. He's buying drugs a crime here. You aren't really well versed uh, about the law of Waltonia, but it honestly doesn't really seem like anybody will give much of a shit about anybody doing drugs out here, because uh, the clandestine intersection are just for the static. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> Nobody fucking gives a shit here. <laughs> Next, he got your bed is uh, in a shady corner of the party and is pressing one of the tables. He bought your hand with a slight grin. He expects you to join in. You're like, uh, hold on a minute. Your experience with unaided drugs haven't really been that great, honestly. If you're not sure you are that excited for a repeat performance, Lenky's immediate uh, response is to sneer. Oh, I see. You're one of those people. Oh, what? Well, what people? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, a bit boring, maybe. Well, oh, fuck off! <laughs> well, sh eat a dick! <laughs> um, there are many words that could be used to describe you, but you don't think boring is the remote contender. You're always doing all kinds of unbelievable stupid shit and getting into the uncomfortable, wacky, and life threatening situations. Is really that fucking much to ask for there to be one time you don't rush at first into doing something you know is going to fuck you up and be totally awful. Next, slip press into a thin, annoyed line. Do you think aren't cheap, you know? I bought them for you. Well, you didn't ask me to do that, did you? <laughs> oh, come on, you're really going to be like this. Yeah, you totally are. <laughs> okay, love sick dramatically. Fine. Oh, great, demon! You have to join the fucking thingy? Okay, Lanky casts around the nearest victim and grabs his attention with his hand around his hand around his wrist. To your dismay, it's your sweet and initial bot dog charm demon. Alas, there is nothing you can do to stop him from falling prey to Lanky's wicked design. Here, have this. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks, I love to put drugs on my wheel. <laughs> demon! Help me out! Uh, what a tragedy. But before you know it, Lanky has a hold of you again and is dragging you off. You just dance. You're not much of a square to do that, are you? Uh, of course not. Dance is basically the one thing you actually plan to come here to do, so that's just great. You go along with Lanky enthusiastically when he pulls you over to the writing mass of bodies pumping and grinding on the dance floor. It's kind of a weird feeling that I get to this volume because the music doesn't really, uh, you know, connect with uh, whatever is going on. You get down to it, you soon discover that Lucky has a very interesting dancing style. And by interesting you mean it primarily consists of directly grinding his body against yours in an incredibly shameless fashion. Anyway, yeah, what the fuck is this cello going around? What the fuck? What is it a cello? Or whatever. But pressing you uh, from all sides by sweating in every bodies, there's not exactly much room for troll jagoose to begin with. Leg is up on your so close, it's hard to not sweat. He has his hands on your hips and your face fixated. With sharp eyes, his heavy stare in nearly hypnotic, so blended and undisguised in his expression. It's clear that what he wants, and maybe that's more than you are prepared to give, but when he looks at you like that, it's impossible to look away. You just go with it, why not? It feels good, and it's not like anyone else is watching. You're surrounded by trolls, boxing up, pouring sweat, and yet it feels like you are the only two people there. Oh my god, I hated Zooms. <laughs> Lucky Drew's in teeth by your ear, and his clothes you can hear him easily over the overwhelming pound of the 
bass. There's no bass, literally. The background music is no bass at all. It's really, you know, iconically sad thing. You have the palest skin I've ever seen. I mean, of course. <laughs> you tell him you're literally F F F F F F F F white. Nice hex hexadecimal thing, <laughs> which is like blank that makes you super racially or inoffensive. F R I. For your information, you let Lanky know that you can see you any way he wants. Which is even more work than making a decision. Wow. <laughs> BFFFFFFF. <laughs> Color wise. <laughs> Teen as a paper. I can see all the way inside you. I forgot we were not. Our sprite was so. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Teen as a paper. Was like, I'm not sure he's a compliment. He's weird. All your veins and your red blood. You smell like candy. Wonder how you taste. Ha <laughs> ha! You say that's like some shit vampire will say. Presuming in a rainbow drinker will be an awfully reductive and literally reading my character. And just make a blunt and sexual pass. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, nice! I love how he just tried to explain us. It's, uh, what is more interesting there? He's, suppo he's, su he's supposed to be screaming at this point because it's very loud. Oh, good, good, okay. Think that's all cleared up. You take this as an opportunity to really let loose. Show off everything you got in the sexy dance acumen department. Thank you, that little bewildered. I'll beat that too. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And you're like, what, what, what are you doing? There's fire on the dance floor, and you struck the match. You're just fucking with up with there. Really getting it, breaking it out, bopping, grabbing, whatever. You're smashing your ass into everyone around you and getting hot and heavy with those lusty moves. The, the music doesn't really... Mm -mm. There's a connect, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> There's a point where Lucky has to step back to resume to properly behold your art in all his glory. <laughs> like, oh shit! <laughs> But it soon becomes clear that it is not your prodigious dancing skill that have given him pause. You follow his other gaze and see the coast for long. Bronya is here and she looks pissed. Bronya! Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Bronya is still standing to entryway contending with Adata. And it looks like she has a cold side of you yet, but like isn't wasting any time. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go first. You really realize what's happening, Lank has you by the wrist and is holding you away from the dance floor and off down the hallway. Okay, wow, perfect, the fucking bedroom, really? The bedroom, yeah, okay. Lanking finds safety in the bedroom. Respite block, you remind yourself when you take stock of the conspicuous absence of any bed and the presence of the revolting looking slime cocoon in which throws allegedly spent their repose. You hold each other in the tense of nervous silence and press against the locked door that feels like an eternity. That sits your breath held the sound of your blood rushing through your own ears that was enough to drown out the music. And quite confident the music should be uh, not that music that we are hearing right now. Second turn, two minutes, and nobody comes to find you. It seems for now you escaped Bronya's notice. Well, first thing first, Arada should allow her to get in. Chase a tough cookie to crack. Will you turn your head to look back at the lanky? You find he's been staring at you for some time. I haven't seen able to take my eyes ever since you moment I first saw you. You're just so interesting. You freeze like a, a hare <laughs> staring down a snake. Lank leaves his hands to brush a thumb across your cheek, fingers curling under your chin. You meet his eyes, the pupils are so black. I want to know what it's like to be uh, to kiss you. Uh, I can't show you, it's like kissing paper. <laughs> like a tongue does out to where these painted lips. Painted? They even painted. You want to kiss me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you already clicked on at least two magical content disclaimer to get this far. Why the hell not? Are we gonna. No, I hope not. <laughs> Lanky leans and presses his lips against yours. Ah, oh, fucking great. Mm. He kisses much more sweetly. Sweetly? Sweet, sweetly. Then he looks, his lips are soft and wet, and tastes like uh, blackberries. Blackberries? Oh. Uh huh. This beats. <laughs> this beats making out with a couple of greasy teens behind a dumpster. That's for sure! Do we know about that? <laughs> when one of his sharp fangs nicks your bottom lip, you don't even care. 
But when the drop your blood beats out of his invasive tongue, Lank draws back just an inch. You taste sharp and dangerous. <laughs> like a weapon. Ah, oh, is that a good thing? <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Lanking pulls back further, his hand slips from your cheek, and his finger tails down your neck to rest on your collar, thumb brushing against the drum of your pulse. Have you ever paled before? I... What the fuck, pale? Okay, anyway, okay. I remember, guys, I remember. It means taking drugs. No. I don't think it meant that. Holy fucking shit. Pale means something else in this place. Ah! <laughs> then shuts off his jacket and starts unbuttoning his shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is this really gonna go there? Are we going go there? I have to censor all this shit, do I? You, you click the fucking video. You, you heard my voice saying that disclaimer content. If I've been stopped by the game itself to tell me about this shit, are you willing to see what's going to happen next? Are you very sure? You can click away. You can click away. I'm not judge, not judge. Oh, judgment. You can click away. You can click away. Remember, you can click away. I can't, because I'm doing this shit. <laughs> You're like, well, no. You've never done any... I had an intercourse with a bucket, uh, uh, but it doesn't look like he's the... even <laughs> has one on game at the moment. <laughs> that was probably the wrong thing to say, because Lanky Face scrunches up in this place. Yeah. Don't mind me. It's my first time. It's your first time! <laughs>you as Jace will leave in the cloister have been chosen for a very special duty. We expect her to adopt a chaste and aesthetic life in service to the continuation of our species. And when we undergo our ideas and set up upward, there is no such thing as sneaking out of the caverns. If I don't do this now, when? My life is nearly over. Will you help me alive? Oh, that's interesting. Um him alive. Do I? Do I? <laughs> Before you can answer, Bronya's voice starts to rise truly about the heavy music. Lanky! Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> get the hell out of here! <laughs> it's time to jump out, jump out of the window. Lanky hands shoot out of a lightning speed to the draw. You close. Before you can as much as gasp, he press one of his palms over your mouth to keep you quiet. You shit! <laughs> shit! She close and from the sound of it, she's getting closer. Lanky! I know you're here! You need to come out of uh, home right now! Lanky leans in close to your ear. Shh. No, what did you do? Going his mom, he says, Be quiet, <laughs> you won't see where he comes. Okay. So, realistically, I will probably keep quiet and I want to see where this goes. But I guess I also. I don't know. I. I okay, you know what? I, I, I wanted to be first doing the stay by your friend and then, you know, do friend, new friendship thingy. Uh, but, 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 guys, guys, guys. The only problem with this is that I don't know what woman she is, is, but as a first playthrough, I'm gonna choose keep quiet. Hello? Enter. You keep your mouth shut and wait for Brian to pass. She only shouts for a little while longer before the sound of her voice fades away. There are too many blocks in this hive for her to be trying to break down the door store and one of them. And she didn't look too close at this one. You lost her. When it becomes clear, Bronya is gone for good! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <clears throat> when it becomes clear, Bronya is gone for good. Lanky lets his hands fall away from your lips. You feel his smile against your ear. Where were we? You turn in Lex's arm and look up into his blazing eyes. How can your alien pill without a bucket? I don't mind doing it without one. Bucket? Why do I have a bucket? Why do I need a bucket? What is a bucket? Is that what I think is a bucket is? Okay, okay. Something that it can be fun to get a little messy, don't you think? You're like, weren't you just saying this was your first time? 
Yeah, exactly. Like he answered you with another kiss this time. He means business. Holy shit. Is that the thing you did? You honey bastards! <laughs> you just put a panel in it. Wow, we have been objectively used. We you go all the way with a super slutty alien and they use them out of ground. I'm completely wasted. But it all went kind of off the rails, but you have to admit it would have been a real shame if you got through this entire extraterrestrial adventure and never got to smash even a single alien. What will be the fucking point, honestly? This guy really did a whole number on you. You are lying spread eagled on the floor, as like he's putting his clothes back on. Man, this is probably your most accomplished friendship to date. Pl Platonic? No, I don't think Platonic is more in, more in our resume anymore. We're not quite ready to move just yet, but since you and Lanky are such a good chums, now you figure out how, uh, figure now is a good time to ask Annie uh, for his cheetah. Lanky seems surprised to even hear you speak. Huh? You want to add me on cheetah? Yeah, you say, isn't that what friends do? Oh, um, sorry. I can't, my palm house is broken right now. Lanky says while typing away for sitting on his palm house, he doesn't even look down at you. You're like, uh, but you're using it right now? Lanky rolls his eyes. I thought you would take the obvious hint, but obvious hint, Lanky huffs. Look, I was trying to be nice, but uh, you just aren't that good, babe. <laughs> you just aren't that, weren't that good, babe. I don't often ring the same bell twice, but if I were going to consider it, you have to show me a better performance than that. Whoa, wow, holy shit. That's what you guess. <sighs> your low is slow, your first time banging an alien, you could even satisfy him. A little seed of worthlessness takes root inside of you and germinates so explosively that it fills you up until there's basically nothing left. You die of shame instantly. Shame to death. Boom. Uh, well, that we got uh, shame to death ending. So <laughs> I, I, I feel like there is two shame to death ending. So let's fuck off, I guess. Mama, I killed a man. <laughs> Let's go, Mama, you problematic piece of shit! <laughs> you rip Lanky's hand off your mouth and start yelling for Bronya. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Lanky tries to scrabble away from you to make some sort of last ditch effort to escape, but it's no use, Bronya hears you from. Come running furiously! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Show the rot! <laughs> he ha she hogs the loop door of his hinges before you can even grab a letter in. You duck flying chunks of alien architecture and scuttle off to avoid what you fear might be further alien fists. <laughs> Punching! <laughs> Lanky! <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> as angry as the boy is, some of the fury goes out of her face. The moment her gaze lands on Lanky's stable partial undress, she reflexively brings a hand up to shield her eyes. <laughs> what was in the word? Put your clothes back on it right this instant, young man! <laughs> Lanky freezes where he stands, apparently accepting that he's been caught. There's nowhere left to run if he doesn't tend to fling himself out of the window. That's <laughs> near uncoils on his face. <laughs> oh please, save the purity act. Like this is anything you haven't already seen a dozen times before. But your face goes bright, Jade. What? What and where are you implying? I will never! Forget Linera, you've always been the craziest bitch in the whole cloister. You know you aren't actually our losses, right? Bronya matches right up to Lanky slapping hard across the face. Lanky makes an undefined noise and he recoils from the blow. It looks like, well, that really hurt. His face, his thing right under the handprint, her forces out a strained laugh. My word, Bronya. If you wanted to join us, all you had to do was ask. Damn, you, you wish you had some popcorn right around now! <laughs> oh god, oh yeah. You just kind of sit back and take it all in! Ah, drama. Lang seems invective as his apparent desire. In fact, Bronya is all about steaming at this point. Hands bold in his fists and her sides. You kind of want to say hi to your friend, but she's a little preoccupied, it seems. I'm not going to rise your pretty baiting. You know you are in the wrong here. We, one, we spoke in time and time ago about Reckless sneaking out of the this party, and you're dragging Linaire into your mess? Linaire has told me all about the things you've been saying and doing to her, and it's completely unacceptable, Lanky. You have had more than enough lecture about the way you treat your flushed quadrant and partners. And uh, we are home. We are going to have a one last serious talk about this. If you weren't any changes, there are going to be consequences. 
eventually Bronian, repairing all the rings, seems to finally break Lanky down. He seeks, shoulders slumped and they rolled his eyes. Fine, fine. Bronian crosses her arms indignantly and she waits for Lanky to finish fixing his clothes. Lanky buttons his shirt, puts back on his jacket, his tie, and then he has to go retrieve his palm husk, which seems to have discreetly slide over to where you are standing. Okay, discreetly. He casually soldered his way over, and instead of picking up his own device, snatches yours out of your hand. Hey, I've got to go, but let me give you my cheat information. Oh, now you give it to me? Ah, uh, you piece of cunt. Maybe we can pick up where we left off, letter, sweetheart. <laughs> Bronya stopped over to grab Lanky by the ear and drag him away, but not before he's finished putting his cheater content in your palm husk. He shoved his bag into your hand, mouth, you see you later, and he's then fully hold out of the room. Hypocrite! <laughs> you need to shut your mouth! <laughs> and then they're gone! Then she'll come finish, you guess? Cheater and rituals. I'll take it! Uh, I love the fact that I dressed like a fucking whore. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, look at that guy's shit. Oh god. Okay. Uh, I got a few days all together. I hope you enjoyed. And see you again. Good luck very much soon. Funny thing, uh, we're gonna look at the other thing. Oh my god, it was at the beginning. Oh my god, I I, I, I was exploring it. I was like, hmm, where is the other thing? It doesn't seem that there's an option for, you know, because we're your friend. It is what it is. Let's move on. And this is everything for today, and yeah? good lovely bye.